Hey guys, welcome to the garden. Tonight we are refilling this Dollar Tree stackable planter for year three of use. Now, I have some updated tips and tricks that I'm gonna share with you to get the most <laughs> out of this planter. This is the third year that I'm using these same pieces. So they are looking a little rough, I will admit. Um, quite a few of them are broken. This one has a big chip out of it. They are quite sun faded, as you can tell, but they still work. And last year I actually had a pretty good experience with these. I found that putting them in a spot that was mostly shaded throughout the day and just got um, touches of sun throughout the day really helped the soil not dry out as much in these and really helped the plants that I put in this stay vibrant throughout the heat of the summer. So we moved in the middle of last summer at the end of July when it was the hottest outside. And when we moved, I moved this to a more shaded spot. And after I moved it, I noticed the plants that I had in it really came back to life and really looked good into the fall and into our first frost. So last year I planted petunias, um, some nasturtiums. Um, I did a few basil plants here and there, some marigolds, um, some calabroca, just to kind of trail out of the side. And it really looked wonderful all the way into the fall. Now, I am down quite a few levels from year one. Um, I, have, I have nine left. I started with 12, so I have lost three levels over the last uh, couple years. Um, I will admit that, I mean, like this one is also broken. These are not the highest quality stackable planter out there, but for the price, you can't beat it. Um, I am, this is going to be my third year using this and I have, I'm going to try some new things this year. I'm pretty excited to see um, how things grow. I'm going to be doing similar plants in this again this year. So I am going to fill this up with potting soil. I got a big old bag of potting soil from Lowe's. This is just the Stay Green brand potting soil. It's nothing fancy, it's not organic, it's just a big huge bag of potting soil and I'm also going to add something else in each level that I'm hoping will help the soil stay moist much longer okay so what I have here is a container full of sponges okay I saw this on TikTok actually and the woman was using sponges just regular sponges in her hanging baskets to keep them moist and so I thought that would be perfect for this Dollar Tree stackable planter to help keep the soil from drying out as fast. So what I'm gonna do, I have them in this uh, container of water and these are just like the cheapest pack of sponges that didn't have the scrubby thing on them from Walmart. I think I paid $3 for six sponges, um, which actually turned out to be cheaper than they would have been at the Dollar Store, the Dollar Tree. So. Keep that in mind, the Dollar Tree may not always be the cheapest. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wring each of these out. I'm, gonna, I'm getting it wet and then I'm wringing it out just so it's moist, but it's not like dripping. And I'm just going to cut strips of these just about like this. This is about, I don't know, a little under an inch wide off of each one. And I'm gonna put these strips in the middle of all my potting soil around the center of these. And I'm hoping that that will help keep the soil moist longer. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fill, we're gonna fill these up. Okay, so I have my first level. I'm just gonna fill this up about halfway with potting soil. And then I'm gonna take my sponge pieces. I'm just gonna lay them kind of like in between each section and like obviously like I don't know I'm making this up as I go along but 
it makes sense. You know, and now it looks like there's french fries in my thing. And I think I'm gonna add another piece like right here. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And so now all I'm gonna do is fill the rest of these up. Okay, so I have my levels filled. Um, I actually found one that is completely missing a whole side. So <laughs> I have eight levels. Um, now the next thing I'm gonna do is stack these up. Um, I do still have this post that I used the last two years and it's still in pretty good shape. So I'm going to use this same post again and put it in its spot where it was last year. Look at my beautiful crab apple. I'm obsessed. So I'm just gonna shove this down in the ground here. Maybe. There we go. I like to put it about eight to 10 inches deep just so it has, you know, a nice strong footing. And now all I'm gonna do is stack these up. All right, it is stacked. Um, I need to cut the top of the pole off because I've lost enough levels that now it sticks out quite a bit. <laughs> but it is stacked. I have my sponges in there. Hopefully that helps keep the soil a little bit more moist throughout the season. Um, the next step is to plant it. Now, I do have some things in the greenhouse that I'm going to put in here, um, like some petunias and some coleus, some coxcomb, some marigolds, like dwarf marigolds. But I am also probably going to buy some flowers <laughs> to put in here. So stay tuned to see what I end up putting in here. <laughs> so if you have one of these stackable planters, I hope this tip helps keep your soil more moist through the growing season. Um, also consider putting it more in a shady spot if you have one available. That will also help keep the soil from getting too dried out. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.